Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of Grimoire. Legends of the Heralds. Mixing it up here. Heralds of the Winged Exemplar is Grimoire. There's another game that uh, always confuses me. It has a similar name. And that one is The Legend of Grimrock, which is totally different. So we're playing Grimoire, which is the lesser known game. This is the game you may have heard. Some people say it is Wizardry 7.5. It was supposedly the Wizardry After 7 done by an Australian company. So this is definitely a retro type game that's been worked on for years. And I have tried to play this for my patrons a long time ago. Man, it's probably been two, three, probably two years. Uh, I played maybe two or three times, uploaded the videos, and didn't do any more with it. So I'm starting over. I must create a new party, and I'm actually going to take a serious attempt at this one. Because I'm hoping once I get past this beginning area, the game's going to open up and be a lot more fun. So we'll see. Hey, Ron, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Yes, I had a great day today. I'm off tomorrow. Spent a special day with my wife, so uh, that's exciting. And then back to work on Friday. But So this is kind of uh, my Thursday today. How are you doing? You doing all right? Glad to hear it. So this game has some really interesting classes and races. I don't want to load a game. I want to create a new game. How do I do that? Library? Yeah, here we go. It's a very complex system. So this is going to... And I'm a complete novice, so I don't know what's good here. We're just going to go with what sounds fun. Okay, let's see here. Create. Lots to choose from here. So, Borrower is kind of like a dwarf. I remember that. Drow Elf. Wolfen is like a wolf man. Let me see. Bay Folk are enchanted race of creatures who sometimes seem to be more magical than real. Oh, it shows a picture. Great. Okay. Strengths are intelligence, speed, agility. High NAC. What is NAC? Natural armor class. Okay. So kind of fairyish looking to me. Special weapons and armor required, yeah. So those are definitely like fairies. Ah, thanks, Ron. How are your book clubs going? Naga. Naga are interesting. Let's see. Speed and agility. And resistance to, I'm guessing that's caustic and toxic? Yeah, caustic and toxic effect. They have low willpower and wisdom, low resistance to mental, cold, mesmeric, sonic, and galvanic attacks. Best professions for this race are pirate, assassin, and thief. Ah, and since they don't have any legs, it says there's a great deal of armor they cannot wear. Okay, let's look at the Drake next. They're draconian race. They're more dragon than man, make for very good warriors, and they can be recruited. When they can be recruited. It is believed they're a product of dragons who interbred with humans with the help of arcane magic. So they're physically strong and strong-willed and fast-moving. Resistant to caustic fire and system attacks. 
They combine these strengths with low devotion, constitution, and agility. They have low resistance to earth magic attacks. Like many skill races, they have low resistance to cold. It never gets very high. Best professions are warrior and metalsmith. They can breathe fire in combat, often affecting more than one opponent with a spell. Okay, that sounds interesting. You're going to be doing a book club on Sunday? I had to push them because I'm very busy and tired. Ah, I got you, man. Well, that's cool. I'm glad you, you're actually able to do one coming up here. Saurian. So these are lizard men. Strong, fast, and agile. As well as having a whole series of general physical resistances, despite being vulnerable to cold, air, and hypnotic. So they make good warriors and berserk. Swimming skill is naturally quite high when they start. They have the special ability to spit bile in combat that can nauseate or burn multiple enemies. Okay. And let's see, what is this? So this looks like a lion man. Leonar. They have great strength, willpower, good fellowship, plus remarkable resistance to cold, mental and mesmeric effects. They are regrettably vulnerable to fire and heat. They're good berserkers and rangers. They have the special capacity to give out a loud roar in combat that can paralyze the party's enemies right in their tracks. Yeah, this thing is really weird. Arab? Eorb? Maybe they're called Eorb, I don't know. <laughs> you always get the odd feeling they're staring at you. No one knows where these weird alien creatures came from. Their intelligence is quite remarkable, as, their, as is their wisdom and prudence. Their formidable resistance to assaults on the mind, mesmerism, or other mental magic. In other regards, they are weak and have poor constitution, very low resistance to light spells, and a low natural armor class. They make excellent sages and wizards, as well as showing talents for thaumaturgy. They have a special ability to launch a powerful psionic attack in battle. Sometimes decide the course of a conflict, being quite capable of driving enemies insane. They require special headgear and armor due to many differences they have in form. Okay, that one, that sounds pretty darn cool. Durandil. So, Durandil are mythical people said to dwell in the bowels of the earth. They have quite impressive intellects and great agility. Their resistance to earth magic is very high. Unfortunately, their delicate frames have low strength and a lower natural armor class. They can only obtain a less than optimal resistance to galvanic attacks. They are prone to wear only very rare and hard to obtain armor, and often they even need special weapons. So they make great Templars and Sages. So these obviously vampire or kind of like vampirish parasitic monsters. Whenever they are outside in the daylight, all their attributes are half their normal values, and their resistance to light never rises a fraction of what other characters can. Despite this severe handicap, they present powerful resistance to sorcery, earth, cold, mental hypnotic and air-based assaults. They have low constitution and devotion, and naturally low resistance to fire, light, and electrical. They excel as necromancers, wizards, and assassins. Their special ability is to charm enemies so it becomes incapable of fighting back, 
or even begin attacking his own companions. Okay, that sounds like that's probably for advanced players. I don't think I'm going to try that one. Giant. Big people with big hearts who display great physical strength. They love the mountains and high places where air is clear. The constitution is impressive and they have massive resistance to system and earth magic. They could be faulted for having low intelligence and speed, but it can be assumed this proceeds naturally from their large size. It makes superb warriors and metalsmiths and can succeed as rangers. Their open and earnest minds make them vulnerable to many kinds of mental and hypnotic attacks. Often in time, the giant becomes a formidable open hand fighter with no weapons at all. Wow, we have a lot to choose from. Um, I read about drows earlier, so it sounds like they're kind of low with strength and, and things like that. Uh, human have no bonuses to anything. So these are the dwarves I was mentioning. Okay. And the wolf moon. Ranger and cleric. You can have eight characters in this game, I believe. So, let's figure this out. I think I want a giant front do a male roll bonus okay so we can either go with 68 or 86 so 86 will re result in more of a averaged this will result in more lows and highs I think I'll do this one. Thirty-three, okay. I guess that's good. Choose a profession. To a warrior. Ron says eight characters, interesting amount. So I suppose that'd be Wizardry 8 party with the hirelings. Yeah, exactly. Add to points, add to attributes, add to skill points, add to destiny. No idea what that means. I'm thinking... Attributes. Type the character name. Root. Brutus. What the? Hey, W Badger. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? It says, great to see you playing this game. I hope you enjoy it. I, yes, thank you. I played it three times. Not all the way through, just three. Probably about four to five hours of it. For my patrons about two years ago. And I didn't touch it since. So I'm starting over. And... It's, it's very interesting, but there's some difficulties in the beginning. So if I can get past that, I'm hoping it's going to be a lot more fun. Okay, select the portrait. Let's see. I want a giant. That's a good one there. I think I'm going to pick that one. Hey, Cody, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? It says, I checked this game out a bit before you streamed it. Looks great. Yes, it's uh, something else. It's very, very complicated, which could be cool. It could be cool once I figure it out. All right, let's see here. How do I boost attribute? I think I might do that after the character is created. Hit points. Let's 
so start with a wooden club. Not sure what those are. I think this is armor for us. Four on the feet. Oh, that's probably back. I'm not sure what CAC would mean. character? How do I do this? I'm trying to figure out how I get this character assigned here. Exit? No, that didn't do it. One, two. Okay, so we can have up to 100 in the library. How do I get this guy added? Hmm. E.W. Badger says, are you open for a general tip? Sure, you can give me a tip. You're doing well, Cody? You just moved in. Oh, cool. So you're with your parents now, huh? Sounds good. Yeah, I don't remember how I get these added in. Maybe it's assembled party. Here we go. There we go. Add to party. Okay. Now, how do I create? There we go. Exit. So exit's more like back. Okay. Great. Another. Let's see here. When I tried a bard before, the musical instrument never seemed to work. I don't think I might, I don't think I'm going to try a bard. Definitely want a cleric. Definitely want a wizard. Uh, E.W. Badger says, I found that speed is the most important stat for almost all the classes. Oh, okay. Good to know, good to know. Probably just gonna gonna go with a pretty basic party here. I really think Nagas are cool, but not been all good. Lower armor is plus this low resistance on all that. That seems like a pretty big detriment. It does have high speed and agility. Thief, Pirate, and Assassin. This looks pretty good as a thief. Let's give it a shot. Be a female. 34 bonus points. 36, okay. Arts of Robbery and Skullduggery. Hopefully that'll be useful. Bonus points. Add to hit points, add to attributes, add to skill points. I think I'm going to do attributes on all of them. Let's see. Let's call him Swift. Or her. I think I made a female.
Alright, I'll look for... Let's see the one that matches that. This one maybe? It has a skull on it though, that's more like a necromancer. This looks like a good thief. Okay. Next. Definitely want a wizard. I think I'm gonna go with one of these. Thirty-eight, that's good. Hey there, Leckenbauer, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Let's see. One wizard. And the attributes. Choose spells. And blinding flash sounds pretty good. Maybe do I get two? Maybe. Oh, I get more than two. Identify. Detect secret. That sounds. Pretty interesting, but I probably have a ranger, and I'm hoping a ranger has that skill. Let's do identify. Type character name. Okay, this is a weird. It's gonna call him Psy, or kind of like psionic type. Okay. You're doing great, Bar. Glad to hear it. All right, fourth character. Need a cleric. I don't think I did that yet. Let's see, I did a no, I did a thief. So Wolfen make good clerics. Anybody else? Doesn't look like it. Guess we'll go with him. Get some better points than that. Thirty-six. There we go. Okay. Cleric. I have attributes. Choose spells. Your light wounds. Wow, they get sleep. That's interesting. Oh, refresh does. Refresh. This spell restores vitality to a party member. 
also thereby restoring their strength and will to fight. The degree to which the party member is refreshed depends on the power of the cast. Cure light condition. Attempts cure of lesser maladies like blindness, irritation, nausea, and silence. Sounds pretty important. Bless bestows divine prayer. Fighting attributes makes them more likely to succeed in combat, both in offensive and defensive. Okay. Bauer says, I've never played Grimoire. Looking forward to seeing some of the gameplay. Yeah, me too. Me too. I've played it for about five hours for my patrons about two years ago. Hadn't touched it since, so I'm starting over. So let's look at sleep. Flow will often wake them up instantly when sleeping. It's easier to hit them. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. It'd be good to have something offensive with my cleric, though. I think I will go ahead and get it. And cure light condition. <laughs> Ron says, Holy Hank, the cleric. We can go with Holy Hank. Holy Hank. So he's a kind of a wolf man, a raw wolf type. That looks kind of like a little wolf. Okay. I think we can have three more. Let's see here. I want a ranger. The Leonor, that sounds like a pretty cool ranger. Let's actually make a female. 34? Is that good? Let's try to get a little more than that. Oh, 19. That's awful. 13! That is horrible. Yeah, raw wolf equals lawsuit. Wolf and equals no lawsuit. Exactly. 31, no? Nope. 3. I guess I should have kept... 34. <laughs> Go with 68. Deluxe. There we go, 35, except. <laughs> Ranger. Laura. Okay, so lioness. Right there. Okay. Six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the six character. Yeah, so we get three more. Let's see. Berserkers. What did Berserkers do? Berserkers not in the manual. Right. Uh, 
Oh, I spelled it wrong. It's a barbarian. I don't think I want to play with a barbarian. Probably specialize and harder to play. Templar is a holy knight who quests after adventure and good deeds. Necromancer learns unholy secrets by consulting with dead and demons. Thaumaturgist harnesses the primitive forces of nature and healing. So kind of like a druid, I guess. Yeah, Metalsmith sounds like that would be hard to play. Pirate is a seafaring rogue who hungers for swordplay, robbery, and booty. Not gonna do that. Sage is an avid scholar who strives to unearth the riches found in books. 1d6 hit points. No, we're not doing that. That sounds really hard. Assassin. The assassin is master of lethal arts of murder and poisoning. That one sounds good first time play so let's see who could we have as an assassin i already don't know i don't want to play that race that could be a decent assassin i already have a rogue okay naga can be assassins this thing can be an assassin but i'm afraid it's it's going to be Hard to find with the armor. Let's do a Naga. Female. Bower says assassin. <laughs> Is that a, the exclamation point mean it's an exciting class? Settle for 34. Forty! Wow! That's the highest I've got yet. Except. Holy moly. Okay. Assassin. Name. Power says sounded better than the classes you described before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see what a suggestion is. Shiva. Hmm. I like it. I'll take it. Okay, Naga. That's a Naga. The picture looks kind of warped. It looks like it's like been scaled and warped. <laughs> I don't want to use that. So we'll find another cool assassinish looking. That one looks good. Okay. Two more characters. Let's see. I think I need another tough type character. So warriors get 5d6 hit points, so do berserkers. Next is Templars 46. Jester, which we can't play right now, 4d6. Pirate 46. So I think I'll try for a Templar. Let's make them human. Male. 34 bonus points. Okay, we'll take it. Can we qualify? Oh, we can't qualify. Alright. Makes good Templars then. Let's 
to these do. But Templars would probably get some good armor, and it says you can only equip special weapons and armor, so I don't want to do that. Yeah, so really, they're the only ones that are decent for that. Well, we'll just keep trying with a human until we can get high enough points in 37. Maybe that's enough. It's still not enough. Well, 37 bonus points is a lot. I really don't want to waste that. Smith. Just cancelled, I guess. Wow, so 37 wasn't enough. Let me see if it says anything about the Templars. Okay, you need 60 wisdom, 40 will, and 50 strength, 60 FEL, whatever that is, and 65 motion. So the only one that has a negative chance of being a Templar by far is a vampire, which makes sense. Everybody else, it's even, so you just have to get the points. Here we go. This tells us how many you need. Let's see, Templar. Only The only thing that can be it in the beginning is the VUR. Nice. Wow. I don't think I'm going to do one then. Man. Just do another warrior. So we have a giant. Let's do either a drake or a saurian. Strength, speed, and agility. Strength, will, wisdom, and speed. That's pretty good. I want 34 though. 35, okay. Great. Warrior. Add to attributes. Character name. Um, let's just call him Drake. <laughs> okay, Drake. Looks like a lizard man. I guess that's the dragon. Okay, one more character, guys. Probably get another caster. Necromancer seems interesting. I'd love to try one of those vampires, but it sounds too advanced for a novice.
<laughs> Undead Fred. Yeah. That's actually uh, a name in the Bard's Tale, Ron. Did you know that? I think I'm going to try to drow here. I need 35 points to make it happen. Let's do a female. Thirty-seven. There we go. Necromancer. <laughs> Ron says, "LOL, not surprised." Michael Cranford and I have the same humor when it comes to monster names. Yeah. Oh wow, interesting spells here. I'm gonna have to look them up. His brain rot. Devastating spell that causes serious insanity and confusion in a single monster. Okay. Insect swarm is caustic. That's the resistance type. Swarming cloud of insects issues from the caster's mouth to hover. Hitting a single group of six monsters doing 1d4 damage per power level. These insects can also cause irritation and confusion. Swarm persists for up to six rounds. Declining in ferocity by 50%. We're definitely getting that one. Dread. Causes... This is a mental resistance check. Causes creatures affected by the spell to become filled with feelings of terror and sense of foreboding doom. Success and duration. Okay. Getting this poison. Looking for the spell called Poison. Here we go. Monsters filling their saving throw versus toxins are wrecked by poison for duration. Okay. I don't know about that one. Witch Hex. Target causes them to fight, react, and save very poorly. So it's kind of like a curse, and it's for death resistance. That sounds like a good one. Okay, and we have Brain Rod, Dread, Irritation. I didn't look up Irritation. They may miss their combat round if they fail their save against the condition. Okay. Uh, I think poison. I get another one. Wow. Dread. Yeah. Yeah, my dog is uh, going nuts because my wife just got home. Bauer says, "Why the option for 6D? It's 6D8 versus 8D6." The AD6 has a greater chance of being kind of an average result, whereas 68 you have a greater chance of having lows and highs. It's just, just an option, but in theory you can still get the exact same high with the AD6 that you do with 68. Okay, so what are we going to name her? Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Let's see, Necromancer. That looks like a good one. Okay, we have our party. So, how do we do this now? Uh, assemble. I want my war next warrior added. And the ranger, I think. Then 
probably the assassin. Let me look at thief versus assassin hit points. Two d six. Assassins get two d eight. So assassins are a little tougher. Let's see here. Clerics get two d four. Yeah, assassin will be next. Then beef. Slayer, where are you? Necromancer, how many hit points does she have? Six. Wizard has five. Okay, so we'll do Necromancer next. And Wizard. Nice. We have our party. Cody says the cursor looks like it belongs to one of the Simpsons. <laughs> it does. <laughs> You're right. Save party. Noob. Okay. Journey onward. Let's go. You awaken in a verdant meadow near dusk, feeling sleepy and confused, but refreshed as if you had been taking a very long and deep nap. Almost as soon as you are alert, you begin to examine your surroundings cautiously, having no notion of how you arrived here or why you chose this place to rest. Although the memory of the dream you were having is already eluding you, as it fades, you seem to recall some urgent feeling of impending danger. But then, even this impression is gone. Owl figurine, critical. New entry in quest journal. Quest, quest journal. You awaken in a verdant meadow near dusk. We already read that, okay. What's this? Save. Cody says, are, are there other Grimoire games? No, this game has been developed for about 20 years, Cody. And it was just released a couple years ago. They've been, literally been working on this for about 20 years. <laughs> so this game is supposedly pretty big and there are no others. Approaching the jagged edge of the rocky cliff, your eyes drink in a vast expanse of awesome mountain ranges in the distance and a green wilderness hundreds of feet below. The air is crystal clear, sweet, and filled with the intoxicating aroma of the earth and elements. You realize from this perspective you must be high above the lands below in some fertile plateau. Okay, do I need to equip stuff? I think it's already equipped. Okay, so I have bonus points. Let me see if everybody has them. Warrior. Okay, here we go. Let's assign these bonus points. E.W. Badger said that speed seems like the most important, or one of the most important. 
Agility enables character to guide a weapon through a target. Dodge a blow, pick a lock. Okay, so that seems super important. We'll do those two. Should be points. Okay, I did. did it keep? It did keep, okay. The adventure does begin, EW Badger. Cody says, excited to see more of this, but I gotta take off for the night. Thanks for streaming. Alright, Cody, we'll see you later. Hey, says Stan, welcome to stream. How are you? You love the eye guy. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. There's, there's a lot to this game. It's very complex, so uh, it's gonna take me a while to figure out the navigation. All skills. Say speed does number of attacks a character can make in combat and their ability to flee. Okay. Flora the Ranger. She has no bonus points? Oh wow. She is barely qualified, I guess. He just barely qualified. 36 bonus on this. I'm confused. Why are these just barely qualifying? I guess because, yeah, you do need really high attributes. Beef. Obviously, I want agility because pick lock. That looks good. Ron says, did you pick weapon skills or does the game do that for you? I'm not sure. I, I don't know, Ron. I didn't pick, explicitly pick any. EW Badger says, speed lets you attack first. Oh, okay. Right, so we got a cleric. Wisdom, what does that do? How likely a character will learn from failures. Texas Philip. Okay. Oh, so this is like charisma. Rate at which a character learns new skills and masters existing ones. Can a success at shrines and prayer. So that's important, obviously. What's this? Affects luck in critical situations. no bonus. Here's the eye guy. 38. Wow. Let's 
speed boosted. Okay, I think that's it. Let's see about skills, though. All skills, what does that mean? Oh! These are the skills here. I see now. Okay. So the warrior has these. Bladesmanship, climbing, hammer, mace, shield, spear and lance, sword and chip throw. Interesting. Ron says, what is the max for stats in this game? 100 or 999? I had no idea. Backstabbing, bladesmanship, and aim, lash and chain, and jutsu. Thief. Inspection, lockpicking. Stealth. Here's the cleric. Okay, so litany must be kind of a magic tool, I'm guessing. Necromancy is only seven. The wizard. Sorcery is only four. <laughs> That's terrible. After all that. Alright. Looks like we have things equipped. Sure how to inspect it. Is it equipped? Chess Prime, what is that? Unholy, unholy symbol. Hmm. Throwing knives. Kind of knife that can't be identified. I do have an identify spell. Let's see, how do I do that? There it is. Can I cast this? Oh, maybe it has to be in your inventory. Let's try it again. Okay, I'm I don't know. It acts like it didn't identify it. Beats me. Ron says, looks like if something's equipped, it turns green on the character to buy the part. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Hunting knife. Wooden club. Okay. Guess we'll just try to get moving here. Hive of mud wasps. That. 
Okay, cleric. Cast. I know I have sleep. Sex warm against the blinding flash chilling touch. Let's try that one. Oh, I've used up almost all my spell points. That's what that MAG is. Okay. Battle. I think the number in parentheses is how many hit points left it has. 12% 12, 12 of its hit points left. Yeah. Yeah, 0% it killed it. Saves versus cold. Ron says, we need sound effects for these boss. Quick, blow your nose. <laughs> okay, so that'll work. So the only one that doesn't have something locked in is this guy. He's out of spell points. There we go. Come on, Bruce. Save versus Mesmer. Save versus plastic. Five experience, eight gold. Psy improves mythology. That's cool. That's cool that told us. EW Badger says your squad will miss a lot in the beginning. Just gotta level up, pump those weapon stats. It'll all end up good. Yeah, I kinda like the gold box games. In the beginning, you mess all the time. Okay, is there a rest? <laughs> uh oh. Dragon coming in. Invokes holy symbol, unholy symbol. Trev is cursed. That's interesting. Oh, 
Claro. ¿Qué? I remember going in here before. There's a, there was a fountain down here, if I remember right. Oh, there's a pack rat. I like how it tells you what you improved. That's pretty cool. This actually looks different than where I was before. I think... I don't think I've been in here. I feel like I started at a different place when I played before. Definitely need to do something here. Oh, this is okay. Blinding flash. How do I pick? Oh, it shows right here. Okay. Let's do it on the horns. E.W. Badger says, yeah, you can choose to start different locations. This one is the normal location, not too easy, not too tough. This dungeon, on the other hand, uh-oh. Gonna get wiped. Saves, no effect. Didn't work. Did I blind him? It didn't say anything. Hmm. 
The air inside the odd aqueduct is cool and still. You can hear water trickling quietly somewhere. The floor beneath your feet is damp and slippery with an ochre mold that seems to thrive stubbornly in the cold under. Saves versus Luma. Mine did not. No, I do not have the detect secret spell. I assumed a, my ranger would be able to find secrets. Maybe that was a bad idea. Assassin's tearing it up. I got the identify spell, but it didn't seem to work on that knife. What's this? Ah, it does have an auto map. says, do you have to search for loot in this game? Always oh, ask him back or anything. Oh, okay, that's the woods, I see. 32%, does that mean that's what I've explored? doing anything.
that means down there. PW Badger says some enemies do drop loot. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure. And yes, you can find some treasure out on the map as well. And Ron says this game is very colorful and has nice sound and music. That's how much gold I have there in 34. Let's see what the manual says about searching. If you want to search for a map, you can type a keyword in the box and then hit search. Oh, <laughs> that's to find a map. That has nothing to do with searching on the map. Okay. <laughs> The tech secret I should have got, it sounds like. But darn. Because God, I have the ability to cure that disease. That's what that is, okay. Well, this guy doesn't have a power, this one does. This shows a question mark right there. says it's no problem you can always get it later. I wasn't watching you build characters. The rare of the I guys should build and learn it. Yeah, I skipped it.
So the vitality is like in endurance, it looks like. like it, and then endurance, stamina. It's like wizardry stamina. Said I'm still screwed because of the disease. Shows like a thing on it. I'm guessing it's permanent. To see. Let's see if I can get out of here and rest. Andrew says, if you go back to where you started, there should be a shrine that will cure your disease. Really? That is back here, I believe. Little Rosie. Visit the Bronze Cauldron. <laughs> Toss a point into the well. Village of Kroll. Tell them Lil Rosie something. Get a free mystery wand. This is where you can say something. Man, I don't understand what you're saying. And you heal. Nothing to sell. Is that steel? That looks like steel. She needs no healing. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> oh, Rosie, always happy to see a friendly face, Badger says. At least she isn't a bug mauling your face up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like that. She's gonna heal me. Yeah, I still got the disease. Let's see, where did I come from? See, I think this is where I went before, and there was a fountain down there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a healing fountain in there somewhere. This thing. Yeah. I think this makes it where you can rest, right? It didn't remove the disease. Yeah, this is the area I was thinking of. Yeah, it didn't remove the disease. But, yeah, I'll save it. Still going with this, this save here. And... Next time I'll try to figure that out, but uh, for now I'll have to quit, guys. So yeah, I'm interested in continuing this and hope you enjoyed it. It's very different, very complex, uh, but I think it'll be fun once I get going. So uh, thanks for the tips there, Badger, and see you guys next time.